What's going on everybody? Welcome to the 11th Island. I'm Brad, that's Chris. Today we're going to be opening up this sealed box of All World Canadian football cards from 1991. There's, I believe, four packs in here at nine cards a pack. So this should be fun. We're going to see if, I mean, there's the rock or smell, maybe an autographed card in here. We'll see. But first, Chris, what do we got going on here? So right here, Heritage 2021 baseball cards. What is that? 1971 style? 72 the, style. 72 style. These are the new cards players from this season but they're done in the old way we're giving this away at 250 subscribers to enter this giveaway all you got to do is first make sure you're subscribed to the 11th island then second leave a comment down on this video talking about the your favorite sports card of all time <laughs> and now we're going to be running this on multiple videos because it might take us a little bit to get to 250 Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep bringing this up. Every video we mention this video, mm -hmm. you can leave another comment. If you've already commented before, that's two entries, three entries, maybe four entries. Mm -hmm. So just keep spamming those comments. Make sure you're subscribed. And, and also, too, we got this one here for so 350 This one's at 352 So we're going to keep these rolling. These are score NHL hockey. What is that, 1990? Mm -hmm. These things haven't been opened. They've been sitting for 30 years. There's some holy grails in there, isn't there, Brad? Well, you got a Martin Brodeur rookie potentially in here, a Yarmir Yager rookie, and an Eric Lindros prospect card. It's this, this pack is real nice because it's the only true Martin Brodeur rookie card for that year. The If you get a Mint 10, it's a PSA Mint 10. They're going for over 100 on eBay right now. So a nice pack, and we will send this to you. Shipping on our end in North America included. If you're in Europe, you might have to give us a little bit there. But again, comment, subscribe, you get multiple entries. But let's get into this. All right, let's, let's get break into the, break the knife out. Once we open yeah. her up, no going yeah, back no here. Going back. I hope this is recording properly. Yes. All right, let's get into this. It is put this way knife safety so again this i mean 30 years this has been sitting yes 1991 and the honestly the cool thing about this is too is rock ismail this guy here mm -hmm. he is in 1991 this would be his would be his rookie card in here is he signed with the cfl he's gonna be the number one pick in the nfl draft he signed with the cfl for four million dollars a year i mean 15 years later cfl salary cap hadn't even hit that yet but they had you certain players were allowed to get big money so he was able to sign with them with that much and with the argos and it was he last oh wow i thought there was only from before there's a lot of packs in here nine card packs so there's oh i thought it was 36 card count it's going to be a 36 pack so this will be a lot longer yeah, video than we thought this is Take a yeah, take a, take a look at some of those. Some All right. Of stacks. I mean, this. Gonna, it's, it's actually like for the for the time period, it's a nice box. It's a nice box. Mm -hmm. It doesn't like it, nowadays you have the odds back here, but mm -hmm. let me set that there. All right, so I'm gonna can I take these back? Yes, yeah. So here I'm just gonna, I'm yeah. gonna stack them all up here, and we're just gonna we'll open them here. There we go. So any nice ones, I'll give them to Chris to sleeve up, but. I think in here, I haven't really taken too much of a look at this. Oh. It's a tough look, Chris. They're old. Yeah, they, they made them different back then. And they, and they made the packages different back in the day. Yeah. All right. There was there. All right. Can we see the cards all right yeah. here? Yeah. Matt, Finley, Calgary. I mean, look at the old Calgary juice. What's the, let me just, I'm not going to do this for every card, but we're just going to take a look at the back one of these. I mean, that is... I don't know if they're just going to show. Yeah, so they're only going to show the prior year. There's some nice stats. Years pro. It's very nice. It's a nice looking card. Winnipeg. Nice little punter. Nice action shots too. I mean, that's not an action shot, but I'm saying action. Oh, some coaches in here too. Nice. James West. Monroe. All rookie. I like that. I like that. I like that style for rookie. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see that in the, where it shows right there for rookie. Yeah. Can we see that all right in the camera? Yeah, we can. Okay. And then I think there's gonna be people in the comments. People are gonna enter in the contest by leaving a comment saying Chris was full of crap. Yeah. You couldn't see anything. Yeah, yeah. Let me take a look at some of these as you open the next one. I mean, these packs are actually. I might have to get the knife in here. Yeah. They made these packs different back in the day. All right. Daryl Hall, if, tell me if my head's popping in here. Uh, Stan Mikawas, that's actually, I like that design mm -hmm. for that card, it's pretty cool. 
Miller Earl, you will turn the out, go battle. P gift top was. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's Ismail right there. Rocket Ismail, the rookie. I mean, that one's. I don't know if there's any value to this. Oops. But that's an interesting pack. The rest of them aren't like that. Are the other rookies like that? No, I don't think so. Let me see. That's what is this rookie. Yeah, the to the ten wall is you can see. Yes. It's it runs like this the regular cards. Yo, what that's wild in Italy stats on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one I actually this is I don't know the value for that. You wanna sleeve that up though? Yeah, let's sleeve it up. That's actually pretty dope. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You want to pass the stack of cards over here? We'll just keep yeah. them. Yes. Uh, sorry, I took. I took them. No, you're all excited. good. You're all, you're all good. Set those there. Yeah, and I'm telling you guys, like these packs, these they made them different back in the day. I like even just the pack there. You can see it's actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool design. Huh? And I don't know if we did get that. The special card offer. If it's a redemption, we're screwed. I mean, the redemption would have expired 20 years ago. Give back them. Wally Bono. Oh, legend in the CFL. I mean, that's the third time I mm -hmm. think I've already got that pointer. Yeah. I mean, these are not bad cards, especially for the CFL for back in the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another. There's another rocket smell. Another one. Now, I, I like I, I really don't know if these are I don't think they're worth anything per se but mm -hmm. you're gonna get just like the collector value so yes yeah I think these are ahead. just nice nice pieces to have yeah and I mean if you're if you're a CFL fan too I mean they're, they're fun to have nice little piece of history and, and the fact that they're not just gonna spam in like you have for comparison, I mean, you have, you know, let me sleeve this one up, but... Because you wouldn't have been in any action games. These are the two that we've collected. Mm -hmm. So it's like, we're getting we're getting different shots right here. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a one, like I, this is posing. I, we're going to have to check out the checklist to see how many different types of mm -hmm. ones there are. Yeah, so this would be interesting to keep yes. over off to the side. Yeah. There, we go. there is, I know, I'm pretty sure there's a Thaisman in this set. I'm not 100% sure of that. And then... This is cool, man. The old school CFL uniforms, like they straight up look like high school teams, but there's they're actually there's there's a coolness to them. Mm -hmm. Let's just say in the die. Yeah, card off right there. AW Sports is randomly packed up. Sixteen hundred personally signed Rockies Mills. Yo, so they're they're actually signed, man. If we pull the sign one in this, mm -hmm. yeah, wouldn't that be something? Because if it looks like they're actually not a redemption. Neil, Tom Berger, Matt, Matt Finley. Could be wrong. I think you just quit, quit mumbling, dude. Oh, my bad. Like <laughs> Kerrigan, I'm like, do you want me to announce every guy? Well, well, well if you say something, say it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't, C don't just keep it to yourself over there. CFL also, that's a cool little addition to mm -hmm. that. Can we see that all right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, the red, some of, some of the, on the rookie... And that all star there, they have the red there mm -hmm. that is very kind of. It looks good when you just look at it, but it just doesn't pick up well on camera. Right up yeah, there. you can show it to that camera yeah. probably too, right? Yeah, I mean, well, the focus is not going to be good, but yeah, that's terrible. Okay. That's terrible. We're learning as we go. Who's this? Is an interesting legend. I mean, you could have picked a better photo for mm -hmm. that one for sure. That's Dieter Brock was the background of that. I like how they mm -hmm. do a little. Like summary, mm -hmm. that's a nice little summary there. Here, as you, oh, as you oh, open. oh, look at this one. Here, so oh. this Warren Moon, that's a nice card. Mm -hmm. Legends, Warren Moon, yeah. Here, oh. as you open up more cards, I'll, I'll read what's on the back of that just so we can see. So, this is the Warren Moon card, you yes, trade. yeah. Oh, so. oh, before we get that, another rocket card. How about that? That's nice, that's nice. We want to sleep that up, there. yeah. Man, there's just too much happening here. We're, we're going crazy. Mm -hmm. We're going crazy for these. Oh, bam. Another rocket. I mean, they, they can't be they're this common. They can't be worth anything. But, but as CFL fans, I mean, we just want to sleeve these up because that's that's pretty cool to have. Yeah, it, it'd be cool, you know, to have the box with rocket on there and just show all the ones we got. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're pulling them 
pretty frequently. Yeah, I so. mean, I mean, I wonder, we're going to have to pull up the checklist. I mean, you might be able to pull it up here if it's not going to affect the recording and just see how many of these actually are in there. I mean, we got all these packs left. We're going to... Yeah. All right, but first, let's hear about Warren Moon. It's uh, right, right here. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, and then it says on the back, no other CFL player ever achieved more in a short period of time than this classy quarterback. After a star college career at Washington, Moon joined the Edmonton, Edmonton and was uh, an instrumental part of the CFL record five straight Grey Cup titles. He passed for 21,228 yards and 144 touchdowns in six seasons and is the only CFL quarterback to ever throw for 5,000 yards in a season. And he did it twice. He still holds league records for most attempts. Uh, which is 664 completion 380 mm -hmm. and yards 5,648 uh, in a campaign he went from the NFL after being an all Canadian choice in 1983 and was thrown for more than two th what you got something special no, no I'm just showing off oh, the, okay. rookie, <laughs> the rookie thing and was thrown and Whoa. has thrown for more than 20,000 yards and 100 touchdowns in seven seasons with the Houston Oilers. He's been a pro ball selection three times. So these write-ups are very mm -hmm. um, well done. They, they got the right amount, I think, of just showing off the... Uh, well, here's a checklist here, too. So we're seeing that those... the, the is Ismail, Rahid, Ismail, they are base cards. They are... There's just a bunch of them through here. So you're looking at here. I don't know if we can see the writing. It's going to be tough, but you're looking at... This is just the first 55 cards here for the checklist. Mm -hmm. And you're showing that they got some there labeled Rocket for Ismail and then Rookie, Legend. So let me just take a look at that, Chris. Yeah, see sure. Yeah, as I was saying with the... Oh, here's another. Oh, with these written up it's you, cards. Let's leave that one up. Well, actually, oh, I don't yeah. know if I showed everybody. Yeah. Pretty cool. Let's leave that up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll set it there. You just go. You just go. We got a lot, to, a lot of cards to get to. Yeah, this is going to be a time. long video. This is going to work towards our watch time, hopefully for the monetization. So if you are watching this, we appreciate it. And it, again, if you're watching this, this is kind of our. We're just getting into the cards here. We mostly stick with it. We have some CFL interviews. If CFL is what you're looking for, at the time that we're recording this, we've interviewed Jagarrod Davis, Gino Lewis, Matt Nichols, uh, Jameer Thurman. So. Some, some not Matt, Matt, oops, Matt Dunnigan. Pretty sure that's the guy that's on TSN now. That's a cool card. That's very cool. Another rookie, John Bolt. Doug Flutie, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. CFL and really football legend, Tom Brady came out the other day, said that one of the best quarterbacks of all time, can we see this all right on the camera there? Uh, it's a little bit out of focus here. Yeah. Well, it's the, it's the brightness, too. Uh, we Our light we, needs to move up. We can move this light in Yeah, here. yeah, there we go. Yo, there our we other camera froze. Did it? Yeah. Ah, oh, then we're, we're keeping... Yo, you want to slide under there and fix that? Yeah, yeah, let's go. We're going to fix this on the fly. Yeah, so we are, at this point, we'll, in edit, have been zoomed in on these cards for quite a while now, and we don't know how long that's been frozen for, so hopefully Chris is doing some... Uh, so I'm really maneuvering here to get this. Doug Flutie, that's a really cool card. I mean, at this point, he'd been... Yeah, that's a really cool card. I like that. All right, Craig Peterson. Another checklist. 1 through 55 again. Another Rahib Atza. I mean, they're just throwing these cards in here. I mean, this is... I mean, this is a really cool one, too. I mean, we're getting them all here. I'll leave that for Chris to see. I'll put the Warren Moon back over here. Did the battery die in the camera? Yep. Okay, yep, so. so the other battery's over there plugged in. All right. Is that going to screw up the recording? Uh, we'll see. Something, I mean, something we probably should have checked before, but you live and you learn. That's why we got some bigger card videos coming after this, and we started with this one. Bruce McNall, that's, a, I believe, an owner card, and that's interesting. Pinball Clemens, current GM of the Argos. Let me take a look at that pinball. That's very cool. Yeah, that's nice. That's very cool, eh? That is nice. And then we got a, we got a Legends. I mean, this is sick. Legends, Joe Theismann. I mean, NFL legend and CFL legend, too. A lot of people don't realize he actually played in the CFL. From 71 to 73 for an 11-year NFL career. Very cool. 
We gotta fly through these. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're back up. We're back up. We're back I mean, up. hopefully, do you think that will actually go forward and keep going? Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that is a very like, yes, but we don't know. I mean, worst case for the people, yeah. we're getting the we're getting the video of us open these packs. Is it recording on both? Yep. How can you tell? Oh, oh. I think this is my favorite. I think this is my favorite rocket one so far. Oh. And then we're seeing Chris pop up over here. I'm gonna look at this one, everybody. Mm. That one is very nice. And you can talk about the. So take a look oh. at that one. Take a look. There's another one sleeve up there too. That's very cool. Yeah, that's, that's. I mean, somebody had to paint that. You know, <laughs> that's nice. Coach card. You know what I hate when they like the cards they throw them in reverse order. Another pinball. Here's Rollins. So we're gonna have to I mean I already make another stack here. I mean I wonder if we're getting the full base set here. Yeah. Hopefully that works with both cameras. Probably it's gonna be frozen, eh? So we'll look, we'll figure that out in post. Another and here's a duplicate for that one. So I mean these are I mean we're looking already, these are pretty common. Mm -hmm. It's the signature card that we're looking for, which I mean, do we think we're gonna get it? No, but that would be unreal. Be a hot start to Damon Allen, sick, CFL Hall of Famer. This one's with the is it the Rough Rider? Yeah, Ottawa Rough Riders. In fact, I mean Ottawa's had about six different team names. Actually actually only like three, I think. The Renegades, Rough Riders, Red Blacks, but I mean, so wow, this was when the CFL had two different Rough Riders. I mean, look at all these. Yeah, yeah. The garbage sitting here. Well, and an interesting thing to note is that on all of these uh, rocket cards, do we have that? They one? have a. I so believe we do. we do. Yeah, I believe we do have. Yeah, it's right here. Right yeah. in front so we're honestly we're gonna get enough that yeah. each of us is gonna be able to take home a but set. The, but the interesting thing is that on each of these that are different, mm -hmm. they have the write ups. Each write-up is different and kind of fits the theme of the picture. That's right. So cool. this one right you wanna, here. You want to bang out some write-ups um, here? This one right here. Here, I'll show he's, you. He's in business attire. Mm -hmm. And check out what they're talking about. So Bruce McNeil has become known as an entrepreneur who gets what he wants. Be it a rare coin, a hockey superstar, legendary baseball card, well-bred horse, or a stu superstar football player. So it's not surprising to learn that Mc McNeil... No, or McNall, sorry, and two close associates purchased the CFL's Toronto Argonauts on February 25th, 1991. One of those associates was, I believe, was Wayne Gretzky. Mm -hmm. Somebody could correct me if I'm wrong. No, they had, they had, they have associates in air quotes. I don't know if that's some shade. I don't know. <laughs> well, this is, it's weird, too, that when Gretzky purchased it, if that was in 91, that should have been in the middle of his, like, tail end of his playing career, another mm -hmm. Flutie. Very cool. Uh, so, purchased the... Yeah, Toronto Argonauts. McNall had sought to expand his sports holdings and settled on a relative bargain, an established successful mm. franchise in a major market. Another, we got another. Oh, this is just too much going on. Yeah. So, uh, a major market for a mere five million. His stake was only three million too, since his two native Canadian partners each chipped in twenty percent of the fee. Hockey legend Wayne Gretzky mm -hmm. and comedian John Candy. How about that? That's wild. What a been, tandem. Yeah, it's been my desire to own a football team, and I'm excited about what we can achieve here, McNall said. The Argonauts have a great history and have had success in the past. I think we can add to what's been here and make this a very successful franchise. we got another one here. Uh, two months later, McNall made more news when he signed Rocket Ismail away from the NFL with a $26.2 million four-year contract. So keep in mind, I mean, Ismail was... Five times, he paid him five times what he paid for the entire franchise. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at the read the Wikipedia before we got started here. I'm like this. He was like making more than teams combined. Like mo every single team, he was mm -hmm. over the salary cap. And you look at Doug Flutie at the time was making one million a year on the exemption list. So you're looking at this guy was making big money. And this is a here's another pinball Clemens CFL All Star. That's a cool card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're probably making more money from mm -hmm. the licensing on these packs. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, they, I, they really, I, like, they really showed them off mm -hmm. for this. Like, this is the 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 rocket show, which mm -hmm. I mean, at that point in the CFL, it made sense. Mm -hmm. Like, it was it was 
the Rocket Show. And I mean, he t showed out the first year they won the Grey Cup. He was the Grey Cup MVP. We're going to have to do something with all these rappers. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, we got so many more left. I don't know. I'm gonna, how long are we at time-wise? Uh, I don't even know. So this is, we got to throw some obligatory. If you are watching this video, make sure you follow us on Instagram at 11th Island for our main podcast and also at 11th Island Cards where we post some of our cards. I'm sure we'll see some of these up. We'll probably take all of the Ismails on there. Greg Battle, cool card. Um, we post there where it's it's a newer, we haven't been working on it as long, so there's a little bit less followers at this point, but it's a cool one. And DMs are always open. If you see something that you like, that you want to buy, if you'd like to make an offer on one of these, you have questions about the giveaway, you can always hit us up there. DMs are always open on both accounts, so always hit us up. We're always looking to collab with some people. And uh, I mean, if you have any recommendations for these types of videos or any types of packs you'd like to see us open, another rocket mm -hmm. one. We are open to hearing it. Yeah, well, we gotta kind of do. Because mm -hmm. we're, I mean, make no mistake, we're gonna be opening out packs all day. We have a mm -hmm. big pile of cards. If you check out our Instagram, you saw maybe today, or I mean, it's not today anymore, but yes, the time we, are, go the, off. we are in all transparency here. This is July 30th when we're recording this. We don't know when it's gonna go up. Ideally, we'd like to get this in the first few weeks of the CFL season, kind of like a little celebration for the season coming on, which is been so nice to have Canadian football back with the after COVID after the year off that's a cool card there are, I mean we're oh do we have that one yes See, we yes do. we do yeah I th Chris I mean, Schultz I mean that's a I I mean rest in peace to this absolute legend right here Chris Schultz passed away I believe it was early this year TSN legend CFL legend I mean that's that's super sad I mean rest in peace to him he's a great guy all right, I'm getting all mixed up with the cards here. This is, I mean, this is a very cool pack. I like the cards. It's very simple. It makes sense. Like, you look at these, you're like, yeah, this is 1990. I didn't know what to expect from all world brand, the AW brand. But, I mean, I, I was honestly expecting terrible cards. And it's, it's been pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, and, it, and the quality is good. Mm -hmm. um, you're not, you're not, if, as long as you're not being dumb with these, they're going to stay pretty nice. Here's another oh. checklist card. Here's the so keep those ch checklists, checklists yeah. and we'll see how close we honestly might get decently close to doing the set. Yeah, because I'm seeing so right now we have this is honestly this is my I think my favorite card in the whole set. Like this is yeah. so cool. This yeah. one's 100% being posted on the 11th Island cards very yeah. soon. And uh, I mean, uh, we have one through 110 on the checklist. So we have two checklist cards right now. Let me just count the rockets right now. There's one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven, yeah. eight. So there's eight different variations that we know of, unless there's a third checklist card. Um, so let me. Yo, see. I think th I think there is. There's a. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that there is. I want to say like over 200 cards in this yeah, set. Okay. I'm so then there's at least like over, I mean, eight times two. I mean, we're talking maybe 16 different variations here. Unless they got, loaded them all up at the front. Unless they, yeah, unless they did that. So one, two, three, four. Because do they five, got the numbers on these cards? What's, six. let me just go through. See what the highest number here is. You have 109, and within those sets. Seven. Those don't, it can't eight, be. Nine. So we have nine right now. We have nine rockets that we've collected. Yeah. So I think it's, I mean, we still got quite a few packs yeah. to go here. Yeah. So this is. I mean, I mean this is, I mean, this is like a six more in the middle of the card. We have that as well. One name Giftopolis. Very cool. I would love to know why they win cards because they still do that and there's got to be a reason for it but when you're opening a pack like watch this all right you open this pack right so we pop her open right side up 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 bang flips around why I, they, well it's because have you ever had a perfect day at work brad 
No, but every single one is like that. Is that a new one? No, we, no, we already have that one. But it's it's a nice one. Really but like every it. single one is like that. The mm -hmm. same amount of cards in. Yeah. Yeah. Did you plug the other battery in too? Yeah. Yeah, it's, plug it's charging. In. Yeah. <clears throat> so again, too, if everybody watching, let us know in the comments too. Remember, like any comment will be entered in into the draw. So let us know what you think of these cards too. Let us know what your favorite one of the set is. If you're as big on Rocket as male as we are. Um, if not, like what, what else do you like in here? I mean, this is a lot of cards. Yeah, We're just going to pop them back in the box until we can properly organize them later. Yeah. Because we might, we might, I'd like to see how close we are to getting a set. Another rocket. A lot of Doug Fluties in here, which is a cool card to have for sure. Yeah, and I, and I think the way they've arranged these packs is the rocket cards on their own are great collector pieces, but I don't think they have a lot of value just exactly. because we this is one box that like in transparency out. we got the we got a lot of old cards. This one went for about a hundred dollars for the lot and this one we would probably value at about twenty dollars in that lot. Mm -hmm. So now, but the th interesting thing is what do these look like when we have every single one that you could get like the full set. Mm -hmm. And and I mean it's it's not like it's a four card set. You know, this is a this is a big this is ten plus cards that that we could pull here. Yeah, and it all depends on condition too. Mm -hmm. Which looking at those, they're all like, and they might not be tens, but they're probably nine point fives mm -hmm. for PSA. For sure. For and sure. I mean, how how much does it hurt the fact that CFL? I mean, here's another checklist. This is for the first two fifty five again, I think. You know, but yeah. even even for the NFL collector, this is a uh, piece of just football history with how his contract worked out mm -hmm. um yeah because at the time he signed the contract he had the largest contract in north american football history mm -hmm. so it's it's really um just a great piece of football lore that uh, not, not everybody knows about that you can really mm -hmm. show off mm -hmm. and you really, frame, right? that, you really see that you really yes you really see that star power emerge in the CFL where it's like we're not just going to have him catching the football we're going to have him posting up mm -hmm. in a suit we're going to have him posting up like with kind of almost like school picture day mm -hmm. um, with the football we're going to have him in his Notre Dame hat mm -hmm. which is very cool um, and then we're going to have a bunch of stuff like this one I mean it's especially I'm going to show this again but just look like it, it, it's him run away like out running Three defensemen. Mm -hmm. How about that? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna be interesting to see how. Like how. Like there's a lot of doubles I'm feeling in here, but it's gonna be interesting to see. Like once we get, we're able to get off this, take a look and see some of these. Uh, like the maybe some graded cards. What what those are worth, and it's they're definitely going in the PC. That's for sure. Um, oh, we're almost through here. Three. How many packs? Three packs left. Mm -hmm. Feel bad. I'm just hogging all these from Chris. We're gonna have to sort out who gets what in this too between me, you and me. I think yeah. there's about five different variations of every card at this point. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> it's gonna be nice uh, too. It'd be nice to see a CFL make a big splash and get a guy like Rocket in nowadays. I think that would really help push them. Maybe even at this point too. Once 2023 comes around, you got to compete with the XFL again too. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to like make big signings away from that. So there's a lot that you gotta work with here. Very cool. That's so many Warren Moon cards. Warren Moon's a very cool card to get, but mm -hmm. you get like ten of them. And it's looking like we're not getting the autograph. Which did we expect the autograph? No, would that have been nice? Yes, you get a little pack luck to get going here. But again, Chris Schultz, really cool card. Doug Flutie again. And a lot of these, of course, these some of these guys, like in all fairness, are before our time. Mm -hmm. So it's tough for us to put a name to every face. Last pack here. Get some last pack mojo in all here. All right, last pack alert. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right, Dan Allen, another checklist. Is that 
Yeah, so we already got that checklist. So there might only be 110 cards in this mm -hmm. pack, this set. And if there is, I mean, we got them. Yeah, so we got we got all the rockets then in, in that case. Dang. All right, so now. So bring let's, let's bring all the rockets in here. These are, oh, this one, you got a penny sleeve back in that one, and that one. All yeah, right. I was kind of slipping a little bit. Yeah, like, we are it, slipping. That was, that was when the camera went out and all right. Oh, I had to take a look under the hood, you know. It was like a yes. It, we, was, it, was, it was like that video where that woman fixes the the plane engine mm -hmm. while the planes or the plane wheel while the plane's flying. That's the eleventh island what, difference. Yeah, that's what it kind of felt like. It's, it was. I, I thought it was pretty heroic. Well, there's one with the more size. All right, and then we will go through these, and then I think that'll be the end of this video, eh? Yes, yes. So let's go through these one last time. Okay. We're going there. It's like choose, choose your fighter. You know, you, you got your different outfits. You got your different feels. Mm -hmm. That that that's nice. Yeah. This one's very cool. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I think that one's my favorite. I um, I think twenty five is a weird one. Mm -hmm. This one one hundred percent is my favorite. Yeah. That's honestly like. One of my favorite cards of all time. Yeah, like yeah, that, I, I love that card. Yeah, let me let me take a close look at this. Yeah, it's really beautiful. All right, that is that is it. That's all we got here. Spread these out. Toss that one on top, and that is that is it. Thank you for for joining us again. Remember to enter in to the draw or to the giveaways. Just comment, and subscribe. You're entered. We will do the draw live on Instagram with our, both of our accounts. And let us know what you think of this video. We're getting new into the card market. So let us know what you think. And anything else you got? No. Have a great day, everybody. See you later. Hopefully that. Do you think that's solid. Do you think that it actually worked? Like, pick back up?